I'm Dave Zamos for the Chesapeake Council. I'm here with Nate DeBlock, the owner of Diamondback. I'm older than you are. I remember Diamondback was a Vermont company. Yes. What is Diamondback today? Today, uh, Diamondback is based in Syracuse, New York. Okay. Um, we do all of our design, development, our office, our shipping is there. Um, we are outsourcing the rods yeah. as far as uh, production, but everything is done to our specs, our specifications, yep. a lot of the design, custom work. So, um, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been good. Okay, so it's a new Diamondback. A new Diamondback, yes. And you've had the company for how long? Uh, just years? over two years. Okay, very nice. What's your vision for the company? Well, we, uh, we wanted to offer rods at affordable prices. Mm -hmm. That was kind of what Diamondback was years ago. Right. Um, they were good quality rods, affordable. Um, one of the changes that I wanted to Kind of implement with the new Diamondback is unique features, some uh, some different things that kind of dress the rods up a little bit more, right. and basically leave no stone unturned okay. in terms of details. All right, lots of details, lots of specifics. So before we look at a rod, what's, what's your price range in your rod selections? Um, right now we have three different series of fly rods mm -hmm. uh, ranging from 275 um, to 425. Okay, that's reasonable. Yes. Okay, so signature rod. I'm looking at these beautiful rods. They're all beautiful rods, by the way. They look gorgeous. Let's hand us one of those. You would. Thank you. This one's unique for sure. Yes. What's the story? So this is our uh, our clout rod with our patented link grip. Okay. And uh, basically the the concept started was we were we we're thinking about actions and details and all that stuff that rod companies typically think about. Right. And we said everybody is always trying to change the blank. Right. To do something different, to act a certain way, yeah. to feel this, to, mm -hmm. but, and we said that's all well and good, but what are they missing? They're missing the grip, the point at which you're connected to the rod never changes. Yeah. This gives you a pretty darn good grip, doesn't it? Yes, you it does. You can't slip. No, it doesn't. So, so we wanted, we wanted a a grip that would allow you to be in direct contact with the rod blank. Yeah. So thinking, you know, this is where everything happens. Yeah. As far as what you're sensing, feeling. Yeah. Um, and this is where you're taking it all in. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you want to have the most direct, uninterrupted mm -hmm. sensations to that? Yeah. So you have you have the direct feel. Yeah. Some of the things that came, became apparent as we designed, developed, and tested it was how your fingers settle between right. the, the segments. Yes. And basically what that does is once you have a, a finger or two settled in between a segment, yeah. the rod is basically locked into your it hand. Is. Yeah. I so that. What, because of that, you aren't exerting the same amount of pressure mm -hmm. On your hand and your fingers you to, have such a good grip to hold the rod, yeah. which in turn helps reduce fatigue. Yes. Yep. So you don't get you fish this all day long. You don't get the yeah. you get the cramping yeah. and everything else. Well, I'll tell you, it's a gorgeous look. How is it? Uh, how is it received by the public? Um, it's been well. It's been it's been received well. It's been just over uh, a year now, and um, starting to get a little bit of traction. People are. Definitely a, noticing it. Oh, um, you notice it, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of questions, obviously. Yeah. You know, when they see it. Yeah. Um, we've had uh, some other feedback from from customers that we didn't initially think of yeah. when we developed this. Yeah. Um, we kind of assumed that this would be something that would be very, um, very big, very popular for the younger crowd. Yeah. And in actuality, the first first handful of rods that we sold of yeah. the clout yeah. were actually to 
older gentleman that bought it because they said that it helped them with their arthritis. Arthritis. Yeah. Arthritis. yeah. So uh, it's been it's been a, a cool little thing, and you know. There's always little things that come up all the time. That's well, an interesting. It changes the whole perspective when you're holding the rod. You want to be have finesse when you're casting this, and you, you're right. You can feel the put a finger on the blank itself. Exactly. And still have fingers on a, on the cork. Exactly. It's very interesting. What else do you have that you want to talk about? You have your rods are beautiful. Um, you got one more you want to talk about? Sure. We've got our uh, our our flex series. The flex series. All right. Which is. Um, which is our our broadest series in terms of fresh water, salt water. All right. Um, we have it from a seven foot three weight up to a nine six and fresh, mm -hmm. and then a nine six to a nine ten in salt water. Okay. Um, basically, some of the one of the features with the flex rod is these blanks. We classify them as a, a medium fast. Okay. Um, but their blanks are rolled with a combination of two different modulus carbon fiber mm -hmm. that are combined into one blank. Okay. So basically you're able to refine everything much more mm -hmm. than you could if you just used one specific modulus. Right. Everything has its own characteristics and, yeah. and properties. So right. you can say, you know, I want a very stout, stiff backbone. Right. Well, then we can do that but still keep a very soft, sensitive tip, yep. then, you yeah. know, it kind of yeah. changes it all up. Sounds so. great. Well, your Thank rods you. are beautiful, I have to say that. All right. Nice Thank talking you. with you. Thank you very much. Care, Nate. All right. Dave Zamos for the Chesapeake Council.